If you're considering a trip on Fred Olsen Cruise Lines, then your choice of cabin is an important decision. That's especially true if, like me, you take a winter cruise to northern Norway. After spending hours outside admiring the Arctic scenery and hunting for the northern lights in the cold, you'll want to make sure you have comfortable accommodation to retreat to. I've already made videos about the Northern Lights cruise and done a full ship tour of the Fred Olsen Borealis, so do check those out if you haven't yet seen them, links in the video notes. But this video focuses on my cabin, 1814, which was an ocean view cabin. It was towards the front of deck one, so it had portholes rather than a picture window that most ocean view cabins have. In case you're wondering, this is what a picture window cabin looks like. But back to my cabin, there were twin beds, a desk area, a convertible sofa, a TV that you could adjust to face the bed or the sofa, and of course, the portholes. This is the view from the portholes. You can pull curtains across, but that wasn't really necessary in the very short days of winter. Shortly after I arrived, a member of the housekeeping crew introduced herself and offered cleaning once or twice a day. Once was absolutely fine for me, so I simply left this outside the door when the room was ready for cleaning. Housekeeping also took care of my laundry, although there is also a self-service laundry available. The TV forces you to watch a safety briefing before you can access any TV channels or other functionality like your onboard account. Once this is done, you head to the lifeboat station to check in with a member of the crew. And then, movies. For a relatively old ship, I was surprised to find UK, EU and US power sockets, along with USB-A charging points. That being said, there were not many outlets in the room and none by the beds, but that is something you'll learn to deal with pretty quickly. One huge positive about the room was the amount of storage space. There was plenty of space in and on top of the bedside units. You'll get even more room in the wardrobes if you move the kettle and tea tray out of here and onto the desk as I did. I was traveling by myself and had far more storage than I could ever use, including plenty of hanging space. Now, although this cabin is designed for two, it can actually sleep up to four. Although four would be a tight fit, I think there would still be enough storage for everyone, although you would have to fight over the power sockets. My relatively large suitcase fit comfortably under the bed. Another big bonus. And yet another bonus was the fridge. From what I'd read on the Fred Olsen website, I was not expecting a fridge in the room. So while it's not exactly a luxury these days, it was still a pleasant surprise. The bathroom was a pretty standard size for a cruise ship. If anything, it was ever so slightly bigger than I had expected, especially the shower cubicle. The only slight issue was the somewhat strange angle of the toilet. Again, there was enough storage in here for one, but for three or four people, that might get a little bit tight. Liquid soap and shower gel was provided. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of an ocean view cabin on the Fred Olsen Borealis. If you have any questions, please ask away in the comments, and don't forget to check out my video all about the cruise itself. Thanks for watching.